Hey everybody, this is Anthony Vandegrift with End Time Ministries, and this is Prophecy in the News. Uh, a lot frequently we've come to you and we've told you about the coming World War III or the Sixth Trumpet War of Revelation chapter number 9. And the reason we come to you about that so often is because when we look in the news, uh, we're constantly seeing things about Syria, Iran, Iraq, Turkey, the Euphrates River area. And that's exactly where the Bible says the war is actually going to take place. And the reason we tell you about it is because it's not just going to affect that area. It's going to affect the entire world. Uh, the Bible says that one third of mankind will die during this war. So this is something that we all need to be aware of and it's something we need to be prepared for. Uh, however, in spite of all the talk of war, 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 I want to give us something to look forward to. Um, the Bible says something promising in Zechariah chapter 14, verse 9. It says, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. There's coming a time where Jesus Christ himself will be on this earth and he will rule and he will reign and it will be the kingdom of God. And that is what we have to look forward to. And so I just want to read a couple of passages about that just to give you an idea of how things are going to be. Uh, let's go to Isaiah chapter 2, verse number 4. It says, And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against na nation, neither shall they learn war any more. During the kingdom of God, or the millennium as some people refer to it, uh, there's not going to be any war. That's not even going to be a word in our vocabulary. No weapons, total peace. Uh, another interesting thing is that people are going to live as long as the other people did in the very beginning of creation. Uh, remember, Methuselah lived to be 969 years old. So let's read Isaiah 65, 20 and see what we can learn from that. It says, There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. So, in today's society, if someone lives to be 100 years old, we kind of marvel at that. We're, it's, it's an achievement if someone lives to be 100. But in the millennium, we're going to go to a funeral, and we'll see an individual in the casket, and they'll say, oh, he was 100 years old, and people are going to say, that was just a child. So obviously a big difference between then and now. The other thing, uh, there's a passage in Isaiah 11, verses 6 through 9, and it pretty much sums up how the millennium will be. I just want to read it for you just so you can get an idea. It says, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, the young one shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And, I mean, I can't really add anything else to that. I mean, during the millennium, during the kingdom of God, there will be total peace on earth, goodwill towards men. And last, the thing that I want to tell you about is Jesus Christ is going to be on the earth, and He is going to be ruling, He is going to reign, but He's not going to be by Himself. The Bible actually says that He's going to have a group with Him. It's going to be His bride or the church. And they are going to... Uh, rule with Jesus Christ on the earth. And so the thing that I want to stress to you today is I want you to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that myself. Jesus told us how to be a part of that. In John chapter 3, he said, except a man is born again, he cannot see or enter the kingdom of God. And so we have a track available for free. It's called, What Do You Mean Born Again? You can go to endtime.com and read it for free right on the website. You can call us at 1-800-END-TIME and get your own personal copy sent to you. It's absolutely free. Uh, read it. If you have any questions about it, email us, call us, talk to us. We want to help you out. Uh, we want to be a part of the kingdom of God, and we want you to be a part of the kingdom of God, and we'll do everything that we can to help you to be a part of it. So thank you for watching today. This is Anthony Vandegrift with End Time Ministries, and this has been your prophecy in the news.